Welcome back to Hannity. That was President Donald Trump speaking at CPAC earlier today. And here with reaction are the founder and executive director of Turning Point USA, Charlie Kirk, the author of The Deplorable Guide to Making America Great Again, Todd Starnes, and Fox News senior correspondent, Geraldo Rivera. Gentlemen, thanks for being here tonight. Todd, I'm going to begin with you. What did you think of the president's speech today? I know you've had the opportunity to see him in person a lot before, and then you were able to watch this, but uh, did he hit all the right points? Kimberly, I thought it was the most incredibly deplorable speech in presidential <laughs> history. I thought it was amazing. And one of the things that I really appreciated, the president picked up on a theme that's in my book, that this really is about the people that Hillary Clinton and the liberals and the mainstream media consider to be deplorable. Those folks who want to secure the border, those folks who believe in traditional values. And it was the word irredeemable that I think really struck a chord with folks, because the Democrats believe that folks who believe like Donald Trump, folks who believe uh, like the average American, American citizen that their belief system is beyond redemption. So I say thumbs up for the president. He did a great job and he had a home run today. All right, Geraldo, how did you see it? Well, I think that uh, Todd mentioned uh, Hillary Clinton. I think Hillary Clinton uh, was almost the shadow presence in that room. Anytime Donald Trump mentioned the fake media, he could have been saying Hillary Clinton. It's like he had the old campaign speeches where Hillary Clinton, even, even to the point where the audience at CPAC began chanting, lock her up, when he never mentioned Hillary Clinton. It, his speech was so uh, charismatic, so impassioned. Uh, uh, it was so pointed, the barbs and so forth, only he was aiming the, uh, the insults and the, uh, you know, the takedowns at the news media instead of Hillary Clinton, but they heard it, the same tempo, uh, really the, the same melody, so uh, they started shouting, uh, lock her up. Uh, it, was, it was fascinating and entertaining. Okay, Charlie, how did you see it? You know, I, I boil it down to one word, and that's consistency. You know, Donald Trump's been going here for six years now, and every single year he has kept the theme the same. We're going to put America first. We're going to put people back to work. You know what's so incredible is we finally have a president of the United States who now is doing what he said he's going to do, and he's been saying it for a while. You know, for people that aren't familiar with this conference, CPAC's like the Super Bowl of conservative politics. You know, we brought hundreds of young students here, and every single year, year after year, they got to hear Donald Trump talk about putting America first. And today, you know, it was like a conversation with friends. He was talking amongst people that put him in the office. This is the baseline, the base of the grassroots across the country. I thought it was very, very well received. What's so amazing is he's not saying anything new. He is consistent in his love for America and his message back to the people that helped him get there. All right, and some strong messaging yesterday, um, Geraldo, as well. You comment on that, but also want you to touch on Steve Bannon. S essentially, a call to arms saying if you think that the media is going to give the country back without a fight, you are sadly mistaken. Well, that's, uh, that's terrific, uh, Bannon. But I just wanted to point out to CPAC, lest we rewrite history, Donald Trump came in third in the, uh, the straw poll at CPAC, uh, losing to Ted Cruz and to Marco Rubio. And as I recall, he postponed last year's speech for fear that it would not be well received during the heat of the campaign. So victory is an amazing tonic. Uh, you know, now he is triumphant. Now he has saved the Republican Party and brought it to, uh, uh, to unprecedented, extraordinary power. But just a year ago, he was a candidate who would have been an also run in that very tough crowd there in CPAC. Uh, in terms yeah. of Bannon, uh, Bannon and, and uh, Renz Priebus, you know, it was terrific to see Bannon even speaking. I had never seen him speak before. His image of the Grim Reaper from Saturday Night Live is the only uh, mm -hmm. image of him I had. It was terrific to see him, terrific to see the political and the, uh, uh, you know, the ideological forces inside the White House shoulder to shoulder and, and making a, a compelling argument, a powerful argument. They are a formidable duo, there's no doubt about it, and Trump has harnessed uh, these twin tornadoes. Yes, it's interesting. You know, a lot of discussion about it in the press, you know, for um, now, you know, months about two different factions, first in the, in the campaign, then in the transition. Now they're saying in the administration, Todd, uh, did you feel that yesterday's appearance, the two of them on stage, do you think it quieted that storm? 
You know, I think it did uh, for just uh, for just a little while. But again, I think right now uh, conservatives are very happy with the fact that President Trump is delivering on those campaign promises. I do want to take him to task for one thing: calling the mainstream media, parts of the mainstream media, fake news. I think we ought to call them what they are. They're liars who are attempting to take down a duly elected president. We ought to call them out on it, and I'm glad the president is doing that. But they're not fakers; they're lying, and they need to be held accountable. All right, Charlie, quick response. I got about 30 left for you. No, I completely agree. And to the response to Geraldo, you know, look, Donald Trump has been coming year after year after year. And my point is he's won over these conservative activists year after year I agree with a with consistent that. message. You know, and, and so, but you, I think it really deserves, you know, appreciation that he hasn't just tried to pander to this crowd on a strict, you know, 10 point conservative doctrine. He says, we're going to put America first. We're going to be consistent. So that's what I meant by that. And finally, you got to love the enthusiasm and the energy for a president of the United States. And you can see the conservative activists that were here at CPAC. We've been waiting for this for a long time, and it was truly an amazing moment. All right, sometimes it just feels good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Coming up next, right here on Hannity.